there was over 260 entrants for these awards, so only 61 people got through. 61 business ladies who have achieved so many things, and we're really excited to have them all here tonight. We've got 17 winners, but in my view, they're all winners. For the fact that they put their entries together did such a fantastic job. So I'm looking forward to celebrating their success with them tonight. I'm Emily Blyde. I've got a salon in St Albans called Chestnut Hair, um, and I'm in the award for community champion and inspiring businesswoman. My name is Joanna Miller. I run a company called Bespoke Verse, and I'm up for best businesswoman in retail. I think awards that are specifically aimed towards women are definitely, you know, worth encouraging and getting involved in because, um, you know, a lot of the women here today, like me, would have started off at their kitchen table and may have small children like I do. Um, and so we need to get together and celebrate that, I think. Win, I think everyone's here to win, but um, it's just huge uh, privilege to be in such great company and to be a finalist is a massive achievement. So without further ado, I'm going to start with the first award and hopefully you're excited, it's the Health and Wellness Award. And the winner is Sarah Kinsella. <laughs> it's just the, the um, competition was really tough, so very happy. So now on to our next award, which is Best Networker. And the winner is... Vari Russell and Kelly Molson, the Grub Club Cambridge. It just gives more credibility to what we're doing and the, to the people who come, our Grub Clubbers who support us. It's a huge credit to them as well. The judges were impressed with all the finalists' commitment to supporting other business owners. So well done, everybody. Best customer service. And the winner is JTM Plumbing. It, it means so much because you are a businesswoman, you're juggling the household, the children, the school runs, and you're a hard-working career woman as well, and you can do it all. It's, it's hard work, and you can juggle things around, but it's often like working late hours and you know getting that customer service focus as well. You can, you can really do it all. And I have also noticed there are a few toilets that need repair and the ladies do, so I'll be in there in five minutes. So, on to our next award. The category is Best Coach. We have a drum roll, please. Thank you. Uh, there's no paper in here. Oh, yes, there is. Here you go. And the winner is Gaynor Dawson and Arthur Inspire. It means so much. I'm absolutely ecstatic. Um, I work with children and teenagers, and I support them through emotional health issues. And it's a challenging job, as being self-employed is challenging. And this is like the cherry on a very well-iced cake. So our next category is Best Woman in Retail or Consumer. Nathalie Farmer, face painting shop. It means a lot. It's a great accolade to work against their business and make them own. I'm Kaya Noshin Lone from Techcon Technologies. And we have, uh, I have won Best Woman in science and technology, I'm really proud of it because uh, I have been working hard on business because technology is one thing and we want to make people's lives easy with the use of technology. I'm delighted to be able to present the award for the best tradeswoman to Lynn Balance of JTM Plumbing. So the next award is Children and Families. And the winner is Julianne Haddon. Thank you. <laughs> and the winner for best business in franchising is Ravneet Burmy of Cuddlebugs. Well, for sure, it will help with press releases and general marketing. And I think also, more than anything, it's prestige, isn't it? So compared to any competitor, we've got that prestige where we are actually able to bring something forward that maybe other businesses that are competitors haven't. And our next award is for Best Green Business. Margaret Pelly from Econobate. My name is Margaret Pelly. I'm the managing director of Econobate. Um, and um, well, I was actually uh, very emotional and everything that I've been um, selected first. I wasn't expecting this um, and obviously very happy to win. It's going to actually help a lot my business as well. The winner is Kate Marston from KM Design. 
So the judges said, in a strong and competitive category, Kate stood out with her clear vision and passion and a high quality application demonstrating skillful design and great business ethics. So well done again, Kate. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, business is 10 years old this year and it's just a recognition of all that work so far and more to come next year and further on. So it's great. Yeah, excellent. So the next category is Best MLM Businesswoman. And the winner is... Sarah Mae Stubbins from Auburn International. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> There's nothing better and it's just so exciting to see so many women here who are so successful, so I'm, I'm so honoured to be a part of it. Well, it was worth the gamble in entering. Funky Casinos, Happy Preston. It's just a great recognition for all the hard work we've done over the last eight years, so I'm really happy. Really happy. So our next category is Community Champion. And the winner is Levy Paisani, Community Night Fighting Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say thank you all for coming. Running a charity is not an easy uh, task and uh, without supporters it doesn't survive. So I'm sure that you've all dug deep in your past for uh, charities. Please continue to do so. It does so much good work and Team Tonight are very proud of what they do. So thank you very much for voting. Uh, being a woman in business is very um, uh, inspirational, I think. Women are coming a long way and I am very proud to be a mother and a businesswoman and uh, now a grandmother too. So uh, I'm very proud of what I've achieved in the last nine and a half years. The winner of the best new business is Ravni Burby of Puddle Ducks. Um, I'm grateful and I think more than anything, as I said before, I'm just grateful that Debbie launched these awards to recognise women. So Puddle Ducks stood out with its realistic business and financial plans and it was new business which is already profitable. So well done again to them, fantastic. Debbie Gilbert definitely deserves a huge round of applause for an amazing event. And as I say, this was very difficult. We had to narrow it down, obviously, to one winner, and that proved really challenging because, as I say, there are so many great businesses here. So just to put her out of her misery, I'd like to invite, please, to the stage, Best Business winner, Julianne Haddon of Jeffica. This is my second time now, so I'm really, it, it's amazing, I can't believe it, really can't believe it. It just, it's so lovely to have people believe in us and to actually know what we're doing. I love it, love it, thank you. This is a real privilege to be able to actually announce the winner of this award. And as uh, Romeo has just said, it was such a difficult decision. Having said that, I've got to tell you, the person who is winning this award, it was a brilliant, inspiring business and an inspiring woman that is running this business as well. And she took us on a journey. And that was the thing, when we read her award, we knew from beginning to end what she went through, how, how she ran her business and inspired others as well. And she certainly inspired all of us to actually want to go and visit her organisation. She took us on a journey, and by the end of that journey, we were incredibly proud of what she's achieved. So it gives me an absolute pleasure to announce the most inspiring businesswoman, and I'm leaving you in suspense here, <laughs> Emily Blyde, Chesson Hay! Well done, superb! I set up my business when I was 18, opened my shop at 19, I now have my own charity, lots of people working for me and really happy. Um, obviously being so young, uh, it takes a lot for people to believe in you, so um, it's nice to know that I could actually win something and people are taking me seriously. And just so you know, if you're a winner this year, you can't apply for the same category next year. So if you're a finalist this year and you want to come back and try and be the winner next year, then the door is open for you to do that, okay? But in my eyes, you're all winners. Fantastic evening. Thank you so much. And I would like to welcome the winners up on stage now, please. So we come to the 
win. Um, we had 17 winners. Um, amazing because most of them were not expecting to win. And in fact, three of the winners won more than one category. So it's really exciting watching the look on their faces when they came up. They really weren't expecting to win. I think the finalists, although some of them are a little bit disappointed, when I've told them that the winners cannot apply again next year, the field is open for them for next year, I think they're keen to come back and try again for next year. So it's important to get a really good application together because our winners have the most detailed and fantastic applications that they put together and really lifted their business off the page and that's the key to award success is lifting your business off the page and the judges to be able to really get your passion for your business and get all the information in one go so yeah I think it's gone really well I'm really pleased